What's up you guys? It's your girl Sadie and I am back with another video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you click that bell so that you can receive post notifications of the next time that I decide to drop another video, you guys. If you don't know, I'm on a road to 2,000 subscribers. So I hope that you decide to subscribe to my channel because I'm bringing the news. You guys, today it was officially dropped. That, <laughs> I didn't think the DC post was going to drop today, but it did. It did. They done surprised me but i was on twitter just scrolling like everybody else and then i see these posts start coming up saying you know there's a dc in town in colorado y'all so um robert livingston from the cincinnati Bengals, who is a safeties slash secondary coach he is in colorado visiting with coach prime um to be the new defensive coordinator for the buffs y'all so let's get into some of these tweets that I read and then we'll get into some more information about him, you guys. So let's get into it. Ian Rappaport states Bengals secondary coach Robert Livingston is in Colorado today speaking with the Buffaloes coach Deion Sanders and he's expected to be named their new defensive coordinator, you guys. Matt Zenit states Deion Sanders is hiring Cincinnati Bengals safeties coach Robert Livingston as his defensive coordinator at Colorado, sources tell 247 Sports. A popular, respected name in NFL circles helped Cincy rank number three in the NFL in past TDs allowed in 22 and number eight in interceptions this year. So here's a picture of Robert Livingston while he's out coaching one of the players for the Bengals. Matt Zenitz also states that he has coached standout safeties such as Jesse Bates and Von Bell. Bates was an all-pro under Livingston. Bell had four interceptions in nine games for Cincy in 2022 before leaving for a big contract with the Panthers, you guys. Also, this article states Robert Livingston is in his ninth season on the coaching staff in 2023. This is Livingston's eighth season with the title of secondary coach and his sixth with a specific focus on the Bengals safeties. So welcome to Colorado, Robert Livingston, and we're excited to have you as part of the buffs, you guys. And um, I'm going to post a clip of this interview that I just watched, you guys. So I want you all to check out the whole interview. The link is in the description. Robert Livingston. Works so, how you doing, man? Thanks for having me. <laughs> no, you're the man. Thanks for thanks for joining us. Appreciate you carving time. Works with those safeties. Does a heck of a job for the Cincinnati Bengals. Been with the organization for a while, and um, has made major contributions from a personnel standpoint, coaching standpoint, every standpoint you can think of in terms of football. So, this man knows this organization and what it's all about. So we got. Um, the back end, you lose a couple of safeties that I know it was probably a tough pill to swallow losing a couple of leaders like you did lose. But you seem to, you guys have just done a great job bringing in other other guys, veteran free agent, uh, drafting a guy and developing that young rookie. Talk about what's going on for you at that safety position, sir. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it looks a lot different, as you mentioned. You know, you lose two guys like Jesse and Vaughn and, uh, you know, graduation happens. It always sucks. Um, so you kind of say goodbye and then you go to the next class and right. you know, Zach and, and, uh, and Duke did a great job getting Nick in here, uh, in the veteran free agency part. And then obviously, you know, having Dax last year and the, the multiple spots that he played, um, as you have done in your career lap as a young player, having to kind of back up all five spots, um, I think is priceless, you know, for him, for kind of knowing where he fits in the defense and what everybody else is doing. Um, and then just the other pieces that we've added, whether it's, you know, Jordan or having Tyson and obviously, Mike Thomas um, coming back for another year is, is is great and it helps the stability and the leadership in the room. So um, just excited about the group and and uh, you know excited to kind of keep working and, and trying to get better every day. Boy, in the uh, in, in the in the football game against the Green Bay Packers, Dax Hill showed some range, man. I mean, he broke from the middle of the field to to break up a pass up the sideline that was uh, pretty extraordinary. I mean, he can cover ground, he can close, can he? Yeah, he's he's obviously immensely gifted, you know, when it comes to to tracking the ball and, and playing in the middle of the field. And um, again, playing corner last year, I, I think helps him, you know, uh, 
kind of know where that ball is going to be delivered. And, and uh, I mean, that's just God given ability. Let's call it like it is. I didn't have much to do with that one. Um, getting them, <laughs> you know, outside the numbers. And again, he's a rare athlete and it's, it's uh, our job. It's my job candidly um, to develop him and to have him the tools that, that he can, can play the position, you know, down in and down out. Um, so yeah, great play. You know, that'll be, um, you know, hard to beat in terms of, uh, you know, playing it any better. So just excited to kind of put a couple more of those together. No question about it. And about uh, Tyson Anderson, man, you get uh, you get two interceptions and a half. I don't care what level of football you're playing. Yeah. I don't care if you're playing touch football in the backyard, man. You get two two interceptions in the first half and you take one back for, for a pick six. That's a heck of a day. <laughs> that is a heck of a heck, heck of a quarter. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, uh, that's true. You know, it's uh, just so happy for him, um, you know, having missed a whole year as he did that obviously can play some can play some head games on you, um, you know, speaking from experience, obviously not at this level, but, you know, missed a year in college. And next thing you know, you're everybody's out to get you and the world's against you and the sky is falling and, and everything that, that I think everybody's been through. So for him to to kind of brace that last year and come back in his first game back and, and have a, that performance, you know, it just starts with with being super excited for him. And uh, it, yeah, it'll be it'll be tough to be uh, in terms of his career doing that again. So just excited for him and and his family.